Hey YouTube, back here with another video series of Back From Ross. Today I picked up a drone apparently. My expectations are low. I have a feeling this thing's gonna fly even lower. This is the Video Drone Protocol Enforcer AP with camera. Apparently it does 360 flips and banked turns, so it, it's a, a multi, this is a multi-purpose drone. It can race and do your vlog footage. I think this is going to be the new vlogging standard, the Protocol Enforcer AP with camera TN. So let's just list off the things it says it has. Video drone, aerial photos, aerial video, crash resistant, we need that. 360 banked turn flips and banked turns, okay, that's, I don't believe that. Auto launch and hover land. Excellent. Ages 14 plus. Kids, if you're under 14, can't play with this, sorry. Alright, let's just open this thing up. Okay. Before we get super into this, let me search this online. I never, I didn't even research the reviews. I just, I'm curious now. It looks like this is a knockoff version of another protocol video stunt drone that has only six reviews, but it's three and a half stars. And it was actually cheaper than this, this one. I believe I paid $60 for this one at Ross compared to the $80 it was on at retail. So this knockoff is more expensive than the real thing that it's trying to emulate. Does that just mean it's better or what? Right, there she is. Oh, it does come with a remote control. I actually thought it was going to be smartphone controlled. Light, cheap feeling. Instruction manual here, very important. Alright, so we have a controller here, some extra pieces, a little screwdriver as well, that's handy. And the main baby itself, strapped down there. Mm, there she is, very light. Alright, let's put some batteries in this thing, let's see what happens. So I got some AA batteries, three for the controller, and we are powered on. I guess this is the camera, but that is a really odd looking camera there. The lens, I don't even see a lens in there. It looks like it's just a hole. I'm starting to doubt if this thing even has a video. Looks like I'm going to need to charge it up a bit. I'm not sure what kind of connection that is. Don't tell me you have to remove this cover to get to the charging port now. Hey, there's a little 2 gig micro SD card. Alright, so apparently to charge it, you also have to remove a screw on this from the drone itself to expose the battery compartment. Alright, now that I have the smallest screwdriver ever made, let's open up the battery compartment. So there it is, type of lithium. It also came with a USB drive for some reason. Not sure why. Okay, so apparently it takes 45 minutes for this battery to charge fully, and that will get us about six minutes of fly time apparently. Can't expect much from a $60 drone. All right, well, while we wait for this to charge here, I guess I'll set it up with its landing gears. Snap in there. Easy. What is freedom? Uh, I think I stole this from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom it did come with screws to tighten them down, but I'm not too worried about that. It feels like they're pretty secure. Alright, she's ready. What's the secret to happiness? The secret to happiness is finding something you love and then doing that for the rest of your life. Here it comes.
right, so overall I'm actually pretty impressed with how it handled. Uh, very, very good, especially in this contained space. It was in, uh, too much trouble to handle. I'm not an expert drone flyer by any means. And I could control this pretty well once I got the hang of it. Uh, at 60 bucks from Ross, it's not a bad deal. Uh, if you're looking to get into drones, maybe, finished, and you want to just try it out, see if you even like the feeling of flying one before you drop a big amount of money, uh, maybe grab one of these. Uh, the video, I don't have a micro SD converter, but I'll try to get one. Maybe I'll have it in the video, but we'll see. Thanks for watching guys, this was Stuff From Ross. Go ahead and leave a subscription, like, comment if you wanna see more. I'll be buying more stuff and opening it up for you. Or if you know of anything from Ross, go ahead and leave that in the comment too, and maybe I'll pick it up. Thanks.